know, we've been playing with their stencils here in PBO paint. You want to play? Lovely, lovely. Okay, we're going to look at the other reveal. Do you want to make oh, a uh, really fabric good. swatch? We're doing turquoise in the bottom, right, girl? Yeah, and I'm going orange on top. So how much do we, is that good enough coverage, or do I need to, am I getting too juicy? I feel like you're fine. You know, you don't want to go. I am fine. But how are you? You don't want to go too, too heavy, so I would pull a little bit of some of the paint off. That's so go more of a dry brush. That's what I was And I really was spend some time. Yeah, not super juicy. Hi! I was Come thinking I was being too juicy. So we're playing with the stencils and putting them on different fabrics. And right now we're doing denim. Right, so take a look. We did it on a jean jacket. We're just playing around with the I need a chair. how to put them on the jean jacket. And then I'm going to do one on mine. But this is just one of many, many things that you can do. I just, I love the idea of fabric. So we're playing with the Pebio paint that is specifically made to go on fabric. Okay. And then all you have to do is just heat set it with an iron and it can go in the wash and it's set, it's done. Okay. Right, it's really cool. So you do a really, it's a little too thick. Go a little yeah. bit less on the paint. Just I was gonna take that over and keep using it. Yeah, so these ones are made for face painting. So here we have, like you can see, they go under the eyes. They're rounded stencils, that way they won't hurt. Well, they, they hurt, that back they also won't be sharp. Yeah, they'll and I, got the I think it'll be okay, it won't touch anything. It's the rounded edges. And the ones that look like funky little weirdo things, look like Batman, oh, that because they can go under your eye or over yeah. your brow. You give me your phone number so I can call you. Yeah, so if you're done, just go ahead and peel off your stencil. Okay, I'm nervous. Okay, this is the reveal. Well, guess what? It was your first time doing it on fabric, so it's it's fine. It's all good. It's all right. Kind of it's going to be beautiful. So this is Pebio paint that's supposed to go on fabric. Okay. And to heat set it, you use an iron, and then it becomes machine washable, like it's permanent. On oh, I didn't think about this. Like, oh, I, 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 I saw that. You can go too. home and cut it. Yeah, I will. I mean, it's not like you're putting it on something that's oh, going to be there for life. Look how pretty that how turned out. That, that looks so cool. <laughs> hey everyone, this is Lolly. Candace and I are back at Creativation on the showroom floor day three. It has been an awesome experience for Creativation 2024 in New Orleans. We are at lindysgang.com's booth and we are here with Kate and she's going to show us what the new products are. So Lindy's has just released three new sets recently and they're in our brand new shaker jars. Aww. So these are all flats. Cute. So we have Vinnie's View, which is based off Vincent Van Gogh's artworks. Cute. Then we have Monet All Day. Aww. So called Monet. And then of course we have Clint. So while these are all flat colours in our gorgeous new little shakers, we also have something called Fairy Fluff. I love which it already. Is shimmer on steroids that you can add when you want some sparkle in the amount of your choice so one spray for a little three sprays to drown it and get massive bling so let me just quickly show you so this is one of our new shaker jars and you can okay. see how cute those are they are and this is flat so it doesn't have any shimmer in the bottle okay and when you take it off it has a nice little safety cap so it doesn't make a mess then you flip it open and it's got the shaker like a salt shaker and you can add just a little bit or you can slip off the lid really easily and dip your brush in or tip it out. You can take a dive right in or mix it with texture paste if you're looking to create colored texture pastes or paints. So our favorite is to just add a little bit of water to a card first and then add the shakers in and you get these beautiful little starbursts. Now the black is the most spectacular. Well, it's over there at the yeah. moment. That's okay. um, so we're going to be looking at the what a little lavender. Mm -hmm. And this is what it does when you drip it into water. So if you would like a more consistent color, you would put it on a craft mat and brush. wet it and mix it with a brush and then you get a beautiful consistent color. But otherwise you get these bursts of Sort of all the colors that make up our product. Right. So I'm going to dry it off so you can see what it looks like you now. These are all our products. So we can look at those. You these can are all absolutely. These, though, the shakers. Yes, all the shakers. <laughs> and anything that looks like it's got ultra amounts of shimmer, that's yeah. the fairy fluff. I love the name. I love it already. It's cute, I want isn't it? I, I want fairy fluff. <laughs> and it's beautiful because you can use it on top of anything. So give your distress inks the new lease of life with a little bit of shimmer. 
or add it over the top of those cardstock pieces you have, or any flowers, you know, paper flowers. Dip the edges in the fairy cloth for shimmer edge. Oh, that's cool. So really this has pretty. been embossed first. That has been embossed first for okay. resist effect, and it's just got two of our colours over the top. And of course they mix and blend to create new colours. So it's really difficult to create mud with ours because they're dye inks rather than pigments. So you can layer quite a few times and instead of getting, you know, a yucky brown, sometimes you can make mud, but it's always really pretty mud that coordinates with the colours behind it. So that's why I love it. So this is our fairy fluff. It's so cute. So this is what it looks like before you put the shimmer on. So you can see it's flat and just adding it to water like I did you get the variety of colors as it dries so part one this is part two and you can you see it, it right? I shake it, it each okay. time just to get a nice even distribution of particles and just so it doesn't suck a clump up the sprayer so kiss of death yes definitely mm -hmm. So when you go and do that, oh, I could. I'm from where I'm standing already. I see before it before it even does I see anything. It like it's yep. and you won't be able to see it on your screen, but when you play it back, the shimmer okay. does show. Good. Yep. Shimmer show. Yep. And do you blow dry that too, or you let that? I usually do. Thank you. Yep. Okay. We're sharing. Um, lucky, I love Martina. She's gorgeous. She's fantastic to work with. Makes my day easy. Thank you. I love shimmer and I love sparkle, so this, that's why I said, as soon as you said very fluff, it's like yeah. that's me, I thank you, I yeah. want it, I want it. Because we have some customers who are not keen on the shimmer, I'm not one of them, um, so thank that's you. why we made these flat sets, but for those who do like a little bit of extra bling, bring on the ring for me, this is what it does. So, you said, you know, one spritz and for a little. a little. And more clear so you get it thicker. So you could also, and I think you did this on this one part here. Yep. You could like do one spritz across the whole thing to get an even shine, but then you can do heavy in certain areas. And get like, a bit more. Yeah, yes. intense. Yes. Very cool. Yeah. Well, and you've got that on some of these. And this, are these available already? These are available already, and you can order either direct from us. Have you used that on or no fabrics? Shit. So yes. I, add the water to it. Yeah. I haven't put yeah, the fairy the fluff top. on here, yeah, but this is our product on fabric. Sprays. So this is the Jacquard fabric paint mixed in with our new flats. Yeah. Um, it doesn't bleed, it doesn't freeze. So yes. you can use it with anything it's that's got a, moisture in there. About, um, so and it activates the dye. Because and this I did not like. expect that color. When it's finished, yeah. I can see the sparkle. Yeah, spray it through a stencil if you would like a sparkled design on a flat background. It's just beautiful. I'm in love with it. You can tell. So it's my work. I just want to like mist my face and get that glow. Technically, it's non-toxic, so you could, but I don't know if it'd be feeling right way. I'd be like, why want my face wash off? But I would have a definite rosy glow. That's the black. That's the black. So. If you mix it up with water, you get a beautiful, consistent, inky black. This is called Impressionist Ink. But if you do what I just did with the last one I showed you and tip Wet it into first. the water, you get these colors <laughs> explosions. That is really, that I know, is I know. That's why I wanted Thank to show you. you. But you're welcome to grab that and take it with you. Thank you so much. Um, grab a sticker. If you'd like a catalog, let us know. You can order direct from Tracy or from Notions. Thank you so much. I have a Notions account. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. We'll Available find. now. Thank so you so much. It's available now. Mind. And this is awesome. So thank you for watching. We'll put some links down below where you can get this product. Thanks a lot.